Let me show you this AI infographic creator. What you're looking at on screen, I just created this really quickly. It's YouTube channel development funnel. And you can see over here, the niche selection right over here. I've put, I've added the image into uh, a keynote slide and you can see that we have our niche selection up here, a full funnel with icons that have built, been built in here. And it takes you along a journey right here. We have our channel setup is going to be the biggest part of the funnel, right? So I wanted to show you this image though. Look, I can move this around. It's a full blown graphic with everything. The words and the text are attached to it. We can make it smaller. You could make this into a graphic and put it up here and then create your slides that way. And you could use a graphic like this for social media, for websites, all kinds of good stuff. So this is Napkin AI, and this is where you can get visuals from your text. Napkin turns your text into visuals, so sharing your ideas is quick and effective. And this is the project that I worked on. I'm going to show you how we can do this. So we have, I put this text in here and then we um, added in all the different steps right over here. And then the AI was able to gather from all that information, what the, the kind of put it into, what is this one, two, three, four, five main brackets right over here. So that's kind of the first project. I wanted to show you what is possible with the tool. What I'm going to do is go over here to create new napkin and we can do a draft with AI. We can do a blank napkin as well. We're going to go with this. This one over here was actually used with blank napkin and that means you can bring in your own information and text and paste it into this box right over here but now i want to go and test this out and we'll look at draft with ai so now you're looking at this chat bot that looks chat gpt or something like that right and you can say the best practices for hiring interview let's just go and click on that for a for an example purposes right like the best practices for hiring interview. Let's go ahead and just click on that and push continue. And now uh, napkin's going to go out there. It's going to create uh, best practices. It's going to go out and create an outline that we can go out there and actually uh, get nice research data for ourselves. And then we can go out there and we can actually create infographics based on each uh, step along the way. So if we're out this best uh, practices right over here, if we click this uh, bolt button right here, it's going to create an infographic based on this introduction right here. We can go in here and you can see enhancing hiring interviews the a positive experience creates a welcoming atmosphere for candidates structured process ensures interviews are organized and focused and then you have your fair evaluation promises unbiased and equitable candidate assessment so what you can do is you can also come in here you can change the icon out we could download the icon we could uh, change the changes out uh, the icon is going to give you a bunch of different options right there uh, we can change colors we can go over here and change the colors of that we can do all kinds of stuff we can make this uh, bigger thicker. We can make it have less rounded edges. We can have it have sharper edges and so forth. A lot of things that we can do. If you don't like this green color, we could go in here and change the green color right here. Just double click on it. You can see the green right over here. If I wanted to change that color over to a blue, then we could change that to a blue. Now, a lot of things that we could do, you can actually come in here and change the text right here. If we wanted to uh, change text, we can easily do that right there. I'm going to do an undo right there. So you can go and shape this up the way that you want to. There's a bunch of different options down here. You can bring in your own images right here as well. You can go and you can do sketches right here if you wanted to and do some cool stuff. You can um, add labels and you can spark search right over here and do even more stuff, add arrows and shapes and so forth. A lot of options, full blown infographics right very quickly. One thing uh, that is wasn't really clear to me, and I've only been using the tool for about 10 minutes, but wasn't really clear to me was uh, like how to download the entire image. So we can uh, click on this whole image right here, it, but it doesn't have the text on it. And if I push the download button, it's only gonna download this portion right here, right? Same goes for if we highlight this and push download, it's literally going to download only that text right there, which is kind of crazy. So what uh, you wanna do is highlight everything like so. And once you have everything highlighted, that's when you can go and push the download button button. We can also go and change the text right here. So if we have some different text we want to use, maybe we'll change it to this right here. And then I'm going to go push the download button. And here's where it's going to show you a download preview. You can actually add a background or you can turn the background off. I like turning the background off because then it, you, you can put this on any background that you would want to. And now that this has black text and so forth, we can change the resolution to 1x, 2x, 3x, color mode, 
We can make this dark mode right there or light. And I'm gonna say copy clipboard and we'll go back into Keynote and see what this one looks like. We've got a black background. I'm gonna do a control V and we're gonna paste this in. So we've got that black text right there. So let's go and see if we can change that now. If we come in here and we highlight that text and that's where I'm gonna go in here and select white. And then I'm gonna come back over here, select this text right here, select and go with white text. And then we'll come down over here, select this and change the text as well to white. And then what I'll do is I'll highlight the whole thing again, like so. And then we'll go over here to the download button. And then we have, and you can also make this an SVG, a PDF or a PNG, really cool. Let's see what the SVG looks like. We'll copy that to clipboard. We'll go back over here and we'll delete this and we'll do a control V. And here's your giant SUV, which is just crazy. I could see so many different things that we could actually do with this. Now it does paste it really big, so I'm gonna have to probably better to download it, especially if it's an SVG, you'll probably want to, to download it first because an SVG file is typically really big. But look what we've got here. Super crisp, uh, I needed to change the text at the top as well, but now you've got this infographic that you can go and use and you could th throw this into Canva or Photoshop or wherever you want to go and do uh, create graphics for. But I could see so many use cases for this for websites and for content generation for social media. And another really cool thing that I could see possibly using this for is somehow creating infographics in different specific niches and selling them on Etsy and all kinds. There's just so many different things that you could actually do with this tool. So this is the SVG version right over here. You can create PDFs as well. You can actually go out and create five niche targeted, very helpful infographics, turn them into PDFs, and then go in and, and use that as a lead magnet for email marketing. You could use that as a, a bonuses for selling products or you could even make them as part of your product, your eBooks that you're selling, and you can really make your eBooks stand out a lot more by having infographics as part of them. Another cool thing is if you're an Amazon seller and a uh, bookseller, right? So you're selling books on Amazon Kindle. All right, so let's go test something else out. So we can come down here in the content that it created for us and we could go and click the bolt button again while it's creating that one. It doesn't look like we can create any more until it creates the other one for us. So this one, it'll give you, okay, so this is something I didn't go over. So it's going to give you an initial uh, design in kind of a style, right? So preparing for a successful interview, the resume study, job description review, but if you kind of want a little bit better representation, you could go over here and look at something else. Like I like this one better. It's a stair step up, preparing for a for a, a hiring interview. So you have your job description, then you have your candidate candidate resume, and then you have your interview guide right over here. We can go over here and look at some more. So then now here's one's more that's more text based, but gives a little bit of a graphic right there. That's really cool as well. I could just see so many use cases for this. What do you guys think? Leave a comment below. This is just mind blowing. I've seen some other tools like this that are infographic creators, but not quite like this. That is very accurate and creating, just putting the whole thing together and it's just like next level. Then we have this one right over here. You have your drop description from the from like a lighthouse right over here. And then we can go over here and look at even more. And then we can, I'm using the, my mouse wheel. So I'm scrolling down and looking at even more. So you have right here, just a couple of simple designs and you have the growing of flowers right there. And you have this one right there. I mean, just look at all these and you have your funnel type right there. And we can keep going over here and just looking at these graphical representations of what you're trying to convey in your graph. Like here's a very creative one right here, your starting point, and then it kind of circles around like that. And you have your step one, step two, step three. That one's super, super cool as well. And it just keeps going. I'm gonna look at all of these different graphics. I can definitely see how you could use this to your advantage with uh, presentations and building out presentation. Look, it just keeps going. I mean, it just keeps scrolling. You can generate more. This is just nuts. So let me scroll through and show you some of these ones real quick. Really cool. And you could try to keep the same style with the different bullet points that you are trying to create graphics for. Here's a really cool one. Look at this. 
how to prepare for your interview. If you're trying to represent it, because there's like three options, what do you do? One, two, three. Here's one really cool, just like a mind mapping representation right there. I really like this one right here. And then once you click on it, then you're good to go. Now, is there a way to where, why did it just go away? I don't know why it just disappeared. I don't know what happened. Okay. So we're going to come through here, but the one, oh, this is another one that I really liked as well. And then we can come through here, involve multiple interviewers, evaluate soft skills, provide clear communication, and even look at this one right here. Once you click on a certain style, then you can hover over and it kind of goes into another layer of different styles that you can go into as well. And then you select again, when you finalize which one you want to land on, now you can resize this and go in and make adjustments to it. So this is mind blowing. What do you guys think? Just wanted to get this out there. There's not a formal review of software or anything like that. I'm just trying to show you guys some softwares that are out there that you might not have heard of. This is Napkin AI, and I'm super blown away by this. What do you guys think?